West is your fourth solo album, and it's themed both on your love of Wester Ross, where your mother's family live, and, and um, also I believe your great-grandfather was nicknamed West. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, so, yeah, it was kind of... Um, because it was... It, although it was my fourth solo album, it was my first kind of properly solo-solo album, if you see what I mean. Yeah. It's, yeah. It was just me on the album. Um, and that's kind of why I wanted to sort of record it somewhere that kind of had a special meaning to me. So um, so I recorded it up the, up there in Athenaherd, and, yeah, my, my great-grandfather, he was... There, was a, there were a lot of A. McLeods, uh, even in the very small... <laughs> Very, very small, kind of not even village, you know. Um, and so to differentiate, and everyone up in the Highlands has a nickname, he was born on the west side of the the, the sort of the township, so he was nicknamed West, and that's kind of now the sort of family nickname. Why did you want to make this particular album a completely solo project? Why, why did you not use other musicians and things? I guess partly um, I had been... Uh, performing quite a lot, just completely solo. Um, before that, when I when I released my last album, I I, I went out with my band, which I really enjoyed. Um, but you know, just logistically and kind of financially, um, it's difficult to kind of take a, a full band out on the road all the time. Um, so I kind of was building up to kind of completely solo sort of performance side of things a bit. I always like to do things differently every time I record an album, so it felt like. I suppose quite an easy way of doing something a bit different and something a bit challenging for me. Raise the window, mother, darling, for no air can harm me now. Let the breath that blows in on me for to cool my fever. And, and I believe the album was actually recorded in your your grandparents' old house. Yeah, yeah. So the um, so there's a house up, um, kind of in, in the middle of. I've got sort of about three sets of aunties and uncles that surround it as well. There's a lot of my family up there still, um, and my mum and dad actually stay in in a part of that house. Um, and my uncle has the other half, and he does self catering there. So yeah, I I recorded it in in that part of the house, which is. Somewhere that I'd spent a lot of time, you know, growing up all my school holidays and um, speaking Gaelic to my grandfather and uh, a lot of music went on, you know, a lot of parties and especially at Hogmanay, <laughs> there was a lot of lot of music and uh, a lot of characters passing through. So it's that's quite an impossibly romantic backstory in these <laughs> days of high tech studios and. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it was. It felt kind of perfect in a way and, and quite meaningful and. Um, I mean the the place, the setting itself. It's it's one of the most beautiful, in my biased opinion, uh, one of the most beautiful places in the world. I think it's just um, I haven't heard it. it looks out onto um, sort of a lot of mountains. Um, really kind of stunning kind of scene of of like a few mountains and and then there's a beach just at the end of the road and um, it's really it's a very beautiful place and it was a really sunny week as well so it was lovely. I've heard that you you said that you really hope that people get a sense of the place and the landscape through the music. How how do you achieve that with a recording? Yeah, well, with this recording, um, I tried to make... 
quite a lot of it is improvised. Um, there, there are a few kind of instrumental passages, really sort of short passages of just me sort of playing Matty, who who produced and uh, co-produced and recorded the album. He um, he kind of suggested it because it's something that I do quite a lot. I quite like to just you know make things up <laughs> yeah. a lot yeah. and. Um, and you know he he said why don't you do that thing that you do when you just play uh, and we'll just record rec- you know we'll record a few a few takes um, and and I kind of so I sort of got into the key of one of the songs that I maybe just did or whatever and then and then just sort of played and every time I did that it was just kind of after we'd just been for a walk down the beach or uh, you know just been standing outside looking at the mountains or whatever so I kind of I hope that that kind of comes across in the sense that it was really felt like it was just kind of uh, sounds a bit kind of hippy dippy, but <laughs> it felt like that was just kind of coming coming out from from ex- what I just what I just experienced. Can you see what I mean? And then Matty said, "Hey, why don't we do a version of Jolene?" <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I mean, I've been, I've been performing Jolene at my gigs for you know for a couple of years. I think it was actually my uncle, my uncle Ali, who who loves uh, yeah he he really uh, loves that version that I do of Jolene, and uh, he it was him that said you know I think one day he kind of passed passed by the house and said I hope you're recording Jolene on the album and I. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to, but maybe I should. <laughs> so I kind of did that for him. <laughs> oh, it's a stunning version. It really is. I mean, it takes it, it takes the, you know, the, the the reading that everybody kind of knows, the Dolly Parton version, and it turns it on its head. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, I think kind of what I try and do, I suppose, is you know, because I thought, oh, maybe I, I can't sit with this very kind of traditional album that I'm making that's just me, and then actually, I, I, what I realised was that's kind of part of what I like to do is kind of. Make try and make the point that you know any song can you know you just do it if you do it in your own way then hopefully songs can kind of all work together you know. I had to have this talk with you. My happiness depends on you and whatever you decide. 